The Azure DevOps integration allows you to link your case test cases and test runs to a work item. You can create a work item while filing a defect in a case test run. Let's look at the installation steps for the app. Go to the app section of your workspace. Under issue tracking, find the app card. Click on install now. This should redirect you to a login screen. Proceed to log in with your credentials. For the integration to access your case workspace, click Authorize and look for the successful Toast message. You have successfully installed the app. Let's now look at the process of linking your test cases, test runs, and creating a work item from a case test run. First, go to your project, select a test case that you would like to link, go to the Properties tab and find the Link Issue button, Select your organization, search for the issue, and proceed to link. You can see the linked issues here. They can be removed by clicking this icon. Similarly for test runs, to the bottom right of the run dashboard, you will see a button to select an integration. Select the app, and proceed to link a work item with the run. Lastly, let's look at how a work item can be created from within a case test run. Select a test case in a test run and add a negative result. Here, check the create or attach defect box and under choose integration select the app. It will populate the fields with your test case title, steps, preconditions, and description. You can edit all of these fields. Once all the required fields are filled, click Create. A link to this work item can be found under the Defects section of the test run under External Issues here. You can also see the linked issue in the Defect section by opening the specific defect. Another feature of the integration is the synchronization of defect and the work item statuses. If I change this defect status to Resolved, you'll see the corresponding work item status change to Done along with a comment. If you're facing any issue with the app, you can go to the apps card and clear the cache. Also, if you had recently created your Azure instance, you will need to enable the following option from your organization screen. Go to organization settings, under security, go to policies, make sure you have third-party application access via open authentication enabled. Please note, the user installing the integration should be an administrator on both ends. You can invite your IT admin into case temporarily for the installation process from the Invite section here. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.